18 months ago, this was a field. And now it's one of the most advanced places of any kind you'll see anywhere in the world. It's incredible. And I want to be thanking Terry Goh, chairman of Foxconn and a friend of mine, one of the most successful businessmen in the world. Very few people even close. And I want to thank him for investing in Wisconsin and investing in the United States. And this is just the beginning. I know Terry, this is just the beginning. This is one of the largest plants in the world. And when you think in terms of 20 million feet, if you build in Manhattan a million-foot building, that's a very big building. It'll get much bigger. And here you're talking about more. Think of it, more than 20 million feet. And that's probably going to be a minimal number. So I'm thrilled to be here in the Badger State with the hardworking men and women of Foxconn working with you. Moments ago, we broke ground on a plant that will provide jobs for much more than 13,000 Wisconsin workers. It's really something. Really something. Thank you, fellas. I want to also thank Secretary Steve Mnuchin, who's here. Thank you, Steve. Secretary Wilbur Ross. Secretary Alex Acosta. And Administrator Linda McMahon, friend of mine for a long time, Linda. Where's Linda? Where's Linda? Thank you. And also, Paul just got — just left. I said, go, because we got to pass legislation. We're passing so much. Look at what's happening with our Supreme Court. Look at the victories we've had. Look at the victories we've had. And Terry, I didn't speak to him about it, but he'll be in particular happy about one of those victories. Do you know which one we're talking about? I think you do. So I want to thank Paul Ryan. I want to thank our great Congressman Glenn Grothman. Where's Glenn? Glenn, thank you very much. Great job, Glenn. And we have so many other officials. But I have to thank a man who I gave it to. I hand, it's like handing the football off, and he ran for 2,000 yards that game. Because most people couldn't have done it. Terry and I have had a great relationship. And Terry was thinking about doing this. And Masa San, do you, you want to talk about another successful guy? He was in my office. He said, uh, a friend of mine set it up. He said, I want to invest $50 billion in the United States. I said, you don't mean 50 billion, you mean 50 million. And that would have been okay. That would have been worth about a five-minute meeting, 50 million. <laughs> And so I thought he was saying 50 million. And when it was set up, it was 50 million, and I wanted to make it quick. But I heard about him. He, along with Terry, their best friends, he came out and I said, So good, what are you going to invest in? He said, Yes, we're going to. Do I said, You can't do that for 50 million. He said, No, no, I'm going to invest 50 billion. And he misrepresented to me because he's represent, I can tell you, he did, because he spent much more than $50 billion in the United States. And that was two years ago. And now they're going to do a lot more. So I want to thank Masa son. Masa, are you back there? Come. Come. I got to get him up here. Come on up here, Masa, if you can understand what I'm saying. Come here. He doesn't play games. Doesn't like small numbers, right? Are you proud of Terry? Yes, I am. Say something about Terry. Come on. <laughs> Terry is my best friend. And we are the brothers. What about me, no? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so I promised the first time I met uh, President Trump, uh, just before you became official president, I think I was the first CEO came to celebrate you. It's true. It's true. 
And I said, $50 billion investment and 50,000 jobs to the United States. Because I said, no, I, I, I couldn't have decided such a thing before uh, this new president. Because I said, now I see the passion, I see the opportunity, I'm more energized, so I, I made a voluntary promise. And now I'm very happy. We're making great success. And I said, I have one more thing to promise, which is Foxconn. Right. So those three things I promised, and I did not have official, official permission from Terry, but I promised. <laughs> you brought him along, right? Yes. You brought him along. But I'm, I'm so happy today that uh, my promise came to true. So this is a great historical moment because I think United States did not have the ecosystem for new technology last 20 years. And now this is the beginning of new ecosystem of high-tech manufacturing back into the United States. Thank you, Masa. One of the great businessmen of the world also, those two. That is some combination standing backstage. I said, whoa. But they like each other. They love each other. And his $50 billion turned out to be $72 billion so far. He's not finished yet. And that doesn't include Foxconn. So, big stuff. I want to thank another very special man. I hope he can hear me, because I want him to come on stage. Because I handed the ball over. Terry's a friend of mine, and I recommended Wisconsin in this case. And I'll be recommending Ohio, and I'll be recommending Pennsylvania, and I'll be recommending Iowa, and I'll be recommending. But this was something that just seemed right. And the reason is that you have a car plant in a very nice location. And I flew over that plant with another great Wisconsinite, Reitz. You know Reitz. Good man. He, I think he's around here or something. He's a great guy. And I said, that would be a good site. The only problem was that site's about one one hundredth the size of what they did here. You could have put one of the smaller buildings on that site. This is big stuff. But I handed it over. Ter I said, Terry, th this place is such a great place. You know, I just realized the other day they told me I did when we won the state of Wisconsin, it hadn't been won by a Republican since Dwight D. Eisenhower in 1952. Did you know that? And I won Wisconsin. And I like Wisconsin a lot, but we won Wisconsin. And Ronald Reagan, remember? Wisconsin was the state that Ronald Reagan did not win. And that was in 1952. And I've gotten to know the people here. They're incredible. And I said to Terry, this would be an incredible place. Then I started hearing the magnitude of what he's doing. This is magnitude like nobody's ever seen. Some of you have been able to see it. And this is just the beginning. This is just the absolute beginning. But so I had this incredible company going to invest someplace in the world. Not here, necessarily. And I, I will tell you, they wouldn't have done it here, except that I became president, so that's good. But they wanted to do it someplace now in the United States. And I immediately thought of the state of Wisconsin. Terry came up, fell in love with the people, fell in love with the location, fell in love with the concept here. You know, he's going to make robotics here. They're doing many other things including full television sets. They're doing many things here, and they'll do a lot of expansion. But I had to hand off the ball. And in private life, you know, you hand off the ball, and sometimes they do a good job, and sometimes it's like, what happened? It didn't work out. Why didn't it work out? Because they didn't know what they were doing. And sometimes that happens. And there are very few governors that I could have said,